Hey, Cameron McKenzie here, Editor-in-Chief at TheServerSide.com. I wanted to talk to you about GitHub, I wanted to talk to you about branches, and I wanted to talk to you about how you can merge branches in GitHub. The GitHub repository with my interesting branches in it is this one here, Git Merge Examples. And as you can see, it's got three different branches in it. It's worth noting that the master branch starts out with an alpha file that has nothing in it. Then I want to merge in this development feature branch which uh, just adds an extra file, the beta.html file. And then finally, I'm gonna merge in this hotfix branch, but the hotfix branch may cause a little bit of a problem as uh, we may have a merge conflict. So we'll try and show you how to do a merge with a merge conflict as well. But first things first, this is the scenario that I wanna deal with. I want to merge the basic development feature branch that has this beta.html file in it into master. So how do we do that? So I'm gonna head over to the master branch right here. See it only has one file in it right now. And what I'm going to do is go over here and issue a pull request. And I'm going to create a new pull request. And I'm going to say that I want to pull that development feature branch into master. I say create pull request. Click create pull request. And then it's going to take a look and see, hey, this branch has no conflicts with the base branch. Do you want to just do that merge? I'm going to say yes, confirm the merge, and then boom, that pull request successfully merged the feature development branch into the main branch. And if I go back to the main branch, we should see that the main branch has both the alpha and the beta file in it. So let's go do that. Head over to the master branch, and there we go. We've got the alpha file and the beta file. So we have accomplished this. We have taken a development feature branch and merged it into the master branch using GitHub. Now I'm going to do something a little different here. Here's that alpha file and I'm going to add a little content into it. I'm going to add some content to this alpha.html file and do a commit. This is now a commit on the master branch. The problem is when this hotfix branch was created, somebody also made some changes to the alpha file. And you can see that in the hotfix branch, the code says goodbye world from hotfix. And in the master branch, it says added some content to create a merge conflict. What do you think is going to happen if we try and merge these branches together? OK, well, I'm going to go over and do a pull request. And I'm going to ask to pull from that hotfix branch into the master branch. Now look what happens. It says it can't automatically merge this. There is a merge conflict on GitHub. But, you know, we don't have a care in the world. We're going to say we're going to create this pull request already and said, I don't care. You fix it. Unfortunately, you is me, but I'm going to create this pull request. And there we go, we say this branch has conflicts that must be resolved. So how do we do it? Well, we can use a web editor or the command line. I'm going to use the web editor here, although you could do a, a pull down to your local file system and use the command line. But regardless of whether you're using a command line tool or you're using the web tool, this is what a conflict looks like. This tells you the code that is in the hotfix branch. This tells you the code that is in the master branch. And it says to you, what do you want to keep? Uh, or how do you want to bring them all together? The tool doesn't know what to do. It has no idea what to do with a, a conflict, okay? You developers shouldn't be working on the same file at the same time. If they are, these conflicts occur. If you were writing some HTML code, um, or you were writing some Java code, you'd actually have to not only do the merge, make sure the code compiles, and then also make sure it passes any unit tests. Um, but we will say hello goodbye combined for a merge. We will then commit this file and we do that by marking this file as resolved. We'll commit the merge and now it says everything is okay because we have resolved that merge. Confirm the merge that alpha is fixed and now when we go back to our git merge examples and we look at the master branch, you will notice when you go into that alpha.html file, it has the content for the merge that we just did. That's the code that we wrote to merge the two branches together. Now we'll go over to the hotfix branch 
Notice when we're on the hotfix branch, the hotfix branch also has hello goodbye combined for a merge in it as well. So we've now got the hotfix branch and the master branch all merged together on GitHub. And that's how easy it is to merge Git branches in GitHub. Now, if you enjoyed that tutorial, why don't you head over to theserverside.com. I've got lots of great tutorials on Git, GitHub, DevOps tools, and enterprise software development in general. If you're interested in my personal antics, you can always follow me on Twitter at CameronMCNZ. And please, subscribe on the YouTube.